a little bit of grinding. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Yeah. Well guys and gals, you never know it because I'm out here in a t-shirt, but this is the beginning of November. Winter's fast approaching. So I've been a little bit worried that the new Power Sport shop is gonna slow down a little bit. However, I don't know if I needed to worry because, well, I still have quite the full garage in here. And so work is doing good. Now I may have jumped the gun a little bit because I applied for UPS, so I'm gonna be a seasonal UPS driver helper helping deliver packages over the holiday weekends, but hey, We'll just do it. I'll be delivering packages by day and working here on buggies by night and still putting out lots of good content for everyone. But as you can see here, we still have the commander here in the shop, still waiting on the owner to buy the new transmission or order the new transmission. Again, they had to save money for it. It's been over a month now. Honestly, I'm getting tired of having this guy in here in the way, but I've been able to still fit lots of other machines in here, so I'm not too worried about it. Hopefully, they get that ordered soon, can get so I can get this back together and get it out of here. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to put it somewhat back together to move it for time being. We got a 500 in here. It's got some pretty bad engine knock. We're gonna be tackling that here in a future video. We're gonna have to tear into the motor, see what she's knocking about. Honda Ryan Con 680. I've been working on. I haven't been filming it just simply because of time. This poor guy here has had a whole slew of electrical issues and we don't know what the cause of it is. Previous owner says they lost the key and so had spliced in their own key switch. Didn't have things hooked up. Basically what I found out is it fried the computer. Along with the computer it fried the fuel shutoff relay the bank angle sensor and we're waiting on a new stator to come because the crank position sensor is fried so this poor guy has had a rough time of it but once that stator gets in here i get it in we'll at least do a little bit of riding on this guy and get a little bit of content out of it because the owner's gonna have to make payments as much work as we had to put into this he can't afford it all at once which i'm um, easy to work with i said that's fine and he said feel free to use it because until it's paid for it's yours so I'll use it, I won't beat on it. We'll just ride around the farm here a little bit. Maybe be able to get you guys a little retro review of this. It's a 2015 Ryan Con 680. So I'll be able to do a nice little review, retro review of this guy. Then I got these two guys I picked up today, which is gonna be in the next several videos. This is a 2020 Yamaha Grizzly 700. Sometimes it's not starting. And when it does start and get warm, you shut it off. It won't start unless you give it a good half hour or so to cool. So I'm gonna take her out for a rip here in a video soon, get it to do what it's doing, and then we'll start troubleshooting. It could be anything from valves being out of adjustment to fuel pump issues. So we'll have to do some troubleshooting and check this guy out, see if we can't find out what's going on with it. And I'm anxious to get behind the wheel of a 700 Grizzly once again. It's been a long time. But today we're gonna work on this Kawasaki Mule. This is the 3010 four wheel drive. It is the trans cab, which I've always liked these. This big giant bed can be converted to a smaller bed with an extra row of seats. And there's nothing too major wrong with this, but the owner was complaining about a bogging at, fuel, at full throttle. So I know this guy doesn't get run much. The guy that owns it now has, I think he said he put two hours on it in like two years. <laughs> so it's not getting rode much at all. And the previous owner before that didn't run much either. So it sat a lot. So I'm basically thinking this is just going to need a good old carburetor clean. He said it grinds a little bit going into gears too, which I'm sure is just a, a link adjustment there and the shift cable. But before we do anything, let's take it for a drive. See if we can hear what's going on and see if she is bogging.
it might be working just fine. It might just be the owner is not used to. I'm going to back. back just a little bit more to the steeper part. Let's see what she does on high. end of the mule now i was thinking all these mule came with their three cylinder engine but this is actually a v-twin in this ah uh, i'm not sure of the size i think these are a 620 v up oh, it says right there yep 620 v-twin in these three in these uh 30 tens and i was thinking it was a three cylinder but anyway here's our air intake our air filter would be in here so i'm gonna work on taking this apart and we will see how dirty our carburetor is <laughs> carburetor all apart it wasn't too awful i mean you can see some build up in there in the aluminum bowl jets don't look awful but it's hard to tell i mean that the holes in these things are super tiny this one side does look a little plugged though we'll clean this up i'm gonna throw this whole thing in the ultrasonic cleaner you can see here the build up on the aluminum the little corrosion Replace this gasket because it's pretty much shot and of course I'll have to clean all this gasket material up and replace So I'll get some gaskets order to get this all cleaned up and while I do that and we wait for gaskets to come I think I'll go ahead and just check over some other stuff We'll check the CVT while we're here make sure it's not getting hanging up and that's what's causing the bog in But other than that, I don't think there's really much more that needs done to this I think the biggest problem is the owner just wasn't used to the limiter they put on these mules. He was thinking you hit the gas, it should constantly build up power, but this just goes to a point and then just holds that steady and automatically adds power as it's needed, independent of whether or not you have the pedal to the floor or not. You know, I just built into these mules, they're made to be workhorses, so that's that. But we'll get the carburetor cleaned up back in. Like I said, I'll check over a couple other little things. I did check the fuel pump there. You probably maybe saw in the time lapse it's spewing fuel. It works. I am going to replace the fuel filter while we're in here. We'll see if that makes any improvement in power. But again, I think it's the owner is just not used to how these mules are set up. 
All right, so we got our carburetor all cleaned up here, looking pretty good. I got new gaskets here for it. You can see it cleaned up real nice, real, real nice. So I'm going to replace all the gaskets. I got a new uh, bowl gasket and of course the two new gaskets for on each side of the carburetor and the new gasket for in here. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this back together and we'll take her for another little ride and see how she does. All right, everything is back together. I did adjust the throttle cable a little bit because there was a lot of play in the gas pedal. Not so much play now. And that actually could have been keeping the owner from getting full throttle because there was quite a bit of slack I took out of it. So that might have been part of his feeling like there was no power going up hills is he didn't have full throttle. It took a bit of priming, but now she's firing right up. Now that I got the carburetor full, everything's adjusted. So I'm gonna hop in here, take another quick test drive. He was also complaining about it, wanting to kind of grind a little bit going into shifting gears from like high to low or in reverse. So we'll check that out here real quick and see if we can get that to do it for us. All right. Sounds like I might have the uh, throttle adjusted a little bit too much. It sounds like we're idling a little too high. May have to adjust that back down a little bit. But let's see. Yeah, there is a little bit of grinding. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Yeah. So, I think we do need to adjust the uh, shifter a little bit. Let's do that before we go anywhere. All right, let's try this again. I adjusted the idle down a little bit. It seems to be better. That's better. Low. There we go. And reverse. Not grinding near as bad. Idle was just up a little too high. Go find Alana and see if she wants to go for a ride too. out and just hold a steady speed and I think that was the main thing he was worried about or wasn't used to but I think we're pretty good now yeah. ah. this thing goes faster in 
reverse and it does forward. <laughs> guys it really didn't need a whole lot I don't know if the carburetor cleaning actually did anything well it had to improve some because the jets and that had a tiny little hole and there was a little bit of build up in there not bad though but other than that I got the shift linkage adjusted a little bit idle adjusted so it's not grinding so bad when it's going in gear so I think that'll make the customer happy so another job well done and we'll move on to the next one